Okay guys, welcome to the fourth video of this series. The last time we built the logging function of the Instagram bot, but in this video we are going to uh, collect the posts from the hashtags and then we are going to fetch all of these links from the of the post. Without further ado, let's start with this video. Okay, so this is the code when we left the last time and we built it the login function. And I'm going to put another comment here, better understand where is the login functionality and where is another thing. So uh, after we uh, log in, we are waiting 12 seconds. I'm going to make this time a bit less, so may maybe six. So we're gonna wait for six seconds and then we are going to collect the hashtag, the post from hashtags. But to do this, uh, but to do this first, we have to create a tags.txt file where we are going to get the hashtags. And then in the, in the side, in the folder, just click on the space and click this uh, plus here and, and uh, create a file named uh, tags.txt. Tags here we are going to store all the tags we want but for now I'm going to put just uh, for example rap or uh, love for example just uh, to, to see if this works so now close this uh, file and then in the first in the beginning of the script we are going to import or to to bring these tags in the our script and to do this we are going to use with so with open and here it needs to be the name of the file. So if name is tags.txt. Put a comma and a type R because we want to read this file. And I'm going to name it as F. So as F. Then I want to create the variable tags. I want this tags to be in a list. And to do this, we are going to use line.strip. So uh, just type line.strip. This is a Python function and for each uh, line, for each line, uh, we want to get uh, each uh, tag, so in F, so tags are F, so this is how we can do it. And here we have uh, the tags, so I collected all the tags from txt file and I have in a list where I named it tags. So now I'm going to use these tags to collect the to collect the posts. So below login function uh, functionality, I'm going to create another comment here. So it could call it fetching uh, posts. So I can better understand what's happening. And now I'm going to pick one tag that I want and to go to the tags uh, link so I can scrape the post from there. Uh, to pick it, I'm going to pick uh, one randomly and to do that, I'm going to import a library called random. So import random. And uh, to pick something randomly from the tags, we can use this command. So tag equal to random dot choice. And here inside the choice, we have to put the list. So list was tags. If you remember the tags or uh, here so here we have the tags and we are picking randomly one of them so after picking one I'm going to create the, the link of the uh, hashtag page so I can go to browser and if I go to instagram.com slash explore tags this is a link where the tags are and for example I type love and this will show me the page with uh, the post from love hashtag. I'm going to copy this uh, link, just copy this link and go back to code and I'm going to create a variable called link equal to this link that I copied and remove the love with the tag we put here, just you need only this one, tags slash. Now we, we have to add our tag here, so plus tag the random tag that I we picked from uh, from the, the tag list. Now we have the link ready. And all we're gonna do now is just to go to this link. So bot dot, uh, dot get to go to the link and we can put link inside here. Okay, so I'm going to test all of this and uh, see what's gonna happen. 
but before let me put some time dot sleep here so we can see what is happening 10 okay now save the file and go to terminal and python run dot py and this will open the browser and let's see if everything is working well okay so we go to login okay so now we go to the love hashtag and yeah it's working perfect okay so this is what we did from now and the bot picked randomly love from these two uh, tags that I put it picked love but if you have a huge list of tags it will pick uh, one randomly so I can close these tags now and uh, here now I what I have to do is to collect or to fetch the posts okay now we have to collect this uh, post from the hashtag and uh, first I'm going to an hashtag because in this link just copy this link and go to your browser or actually I don't I have it here I don't have to copy it so click inspect in this hashtag page inspect and choose the emulation it will show you like this but click on this uh, emulation here it will open the website with emulator and then click refresh to open it with emulator so now we have it with emulator version uh, with mobile version okay so when we go to the hashtags I want to get only most recent most recent post that is this section here and uh, to do that first we have to uh, scroll down because we are uh, on the top then we want to scroll down a bit and then we can collect these posts here and to scroll down uh, here on the code after getting the link below that we first we want to wait for some times to load the link so time dot sleep uh, four maybe okay four then we want to to scroll one time down so uh, I'm going to use a for loop uh, for for I in range in range and here we can put how many times we want to scroll I'm going to put it only one time we want to scroll we want to do some actions and to do the the scrolling action in selenium we need ac uh, action chains to, to import it just go on the top of the page and type from selenium dot web driver dot common dot action chains import action chains so this is what we need to what to make the scrolling part just import this line here and then go back to the code here on the for loop and we have to call this action chain and inside action chain we have to put the bot then we want to we want to send keys so send keys and the key that we want to send is uh, not any key from keyboard keyboard but we want to scroll until the end of the page so for example we are here and we want to scroll in the end of this page and uh, to do this we have to import the keys and we're gonna do it uh, from uh, selenium.webdriver.common just copy this paste below and then type uh, keys import keys okay so now we have the keys and to go to the end of the page we go back to the action chain and to go to the end of the page we just type keys dot end so yeah, there are a lot of uh, things here but we want to go to end to confirm that we have to type dot, dot perform so dot perform function and then uh, after scrolling I want to wait for some time so just time dot sleep wait for two seconds to load all the posts while we scrolling down and uh, okay so now we have the scrolling part now what we're gonna do is to get the most recent posts so if I go to this hashtag again refresh the page 
and here I want only these recent posts. I'm going to pick only six of them. So if you see here in the most recent, we want only six of them. So this means that we want the first row and the second row. And to get these rows, uh, just click, just click here in the one of them, the first post, the in the most recent. Then in the in the divs. We want to go back until you see the all the rows selected. Just see here. Then we, when you hover the div tags, we see all the rows selected. So now we need this one. So this one is the first row, and we want to copy that. Copy, copy X path, and then if we click Control plus F, it will open this select this uh, finder here. If I paste. It it will uh, show me this the first uh, the first row of the posts. You can also find these hex paths on my GitHub uh, code if you don't find them. So now I'm going to create a variable called called row one. This row one is is going to equal to bot dot find uh, element find element by hex path. And here we have to paste the X path. Uh, if you don't find it again, just copy and paste this one. Just write it down. And this is the first row because we have one here. I have I want two first rows, so just copy this and paste it below. Below the first one, row. So I'm going to call this one row two. And here I have to change the number to two. So now I have two rows of the most recent posts. Now all I'm gonna do is just to collect the links from these uh, rows here. And if you go to, let me refresh the page. If you go to this uh, the site of the hashtags and we click on one of them, you can see that inside we have an A element. And uh, this is the link of the post. And here we want to get the href. And this is the link. And if I click on this, it will open me the the link of the the post, the actual post. So I want to get the, uh, the all a tags from these divs. So to get, to do that, uh, we're gonna create some. Uh, okay, I'm gonna call this link our link our link link one so is a row link I'm gonna get a row link and uh, from the from here to I want to get the a tag from the first row and just type row one dot get uh, no not get find find elements by tag name by tag name because we want we want tag name not xpath so tag name and inside we have to put just a because we want a tag so here we have the a uh, tags for the first row and i also want it for the second row so i'm going to do the same thing just copy this and replace it replace this one to two and the row need to be row two Okay, so now we have uh, both uh, our links, so the row links. But for now, these links are just Selenium uh, objects, so I want to get from these objects to get the actual link of the post. And uh, first, I'm going to uh, put these to merge these two links uh, together. So to do that, just create another variable links equal to uh, our links, our link one plus our link two. Okay, so now we have links and inside this links for each uh, link we want to get uh, the attribute, the href attribute. So for uh, i, I'm gonna call i in links and I want to check if the href exists or not. So if if I dot get attribute, this attribute needs to be href. 
a draft and th if this attribute doesn't exist so it doesn't equal or yeah it doesn't equal to none uh, that means that it will exist actually I have to put this one first and uh, if if this attribute uh, doesn't equal to none this means that it is uh, at this uh, tag has an href attribute urls 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 i'm gonna uh, initialize an urls list here an empty url uh, list and i want to append this uh, link to the url list so uh, urls dot append i dot get attribute so i dot get attribute and this attribute needs to be the age ref so now i got the age ref or the actual link from uh from the from the a tag uh, from the age ref attribute and i'm saving it in the urls so i missed spelled this so urls okay now it's working so now I have all the links from the hashtags I have six links because I got two rows with three paths and this means that we have three links okay so I'm going to try to I'm going to try to print all of these links and see if I done this well just type print and I'm going to print URLs so in the end it was going to print URLs Okay, so save everything, just click save here. And now we can run the, in the terminal, run.py to run the script. And let's see what we did. Okay, now it's going to log in. Hopefully this is going to work because we coded a lot and we didn't test it for a while. So now it will go to the tag with the hashtag okay it got the wrap tag now it should scroll down yeah it's scrolling down then okay 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 we see if you see in the terminal we got printed the list with the links and we can test if this one works just hold control and click click open and yeah we have this one and it's 30 seconds ago so we, we are fetching only the recent uh, posts if i go to another one wait let me stop it let's make this larger okay if i go to the second one we have another post with with uh, 55 seconds ago okay so this is how you could uh collect or you can fetch a link from the hashed posts in the hashtag and these links are only the link of the posts that are recently posted so this is all we are doing in this uh, video in the next video so we are, we are going to build the main functionality and uh, just click on the fourth or in the fifth video I'm sorry in the fifth video in, of this series and I will see you there goodbye